Hello, everybody. This is Molly. Well, I hope y'all are having a spectacular fall so far, getting ready for Halloween and just enjoying the fall weather. Um, we're blessed right here in Lake Charles, Louisiana right now with some perfect fall weather, about 68 degrees, slight chance of rain. But other than that, it is a beautiful, beautiful evening here. I uh, just was enjoying the time out on the deck. It came in to do this video. Um, wanted to share with you some items that I've been making for fall, just a couple of them, and then invite you to a blog hop this weekend. I hope you'll join us on. Um, what I've made, the little bit of things that I've made so far for Halloween, I just wanted to share with you a couple of them. This is a tag that I made featuring some of the beautiful things I got from my design team package from MB Treasuristas shop. Uh, Misty has a wonderful online shop, MB Treasuristas. And I used several of the items from her shop to make this tag. And I love it. Okay, so starting off at the top here, this is cheesecloth, which I got in a package from her shop. Sprayed it with a, I don't know if you can see that it's gray. I don't know if you can tell. But I sprayed it with some of the Lindy Scent Gang sprays that I got from her shop. I got that Industrial Chic collection. Um, if you do not have the Industrial Chic and you are into the teals, which is like the color, you know, the teals and greens this fall. Um, and a wonderful steely gray, shimmery gray, and a brown. It's it's the best color of Lindy Stamp Gangs. I uh, just love it, love it, love it. So run to her shop and pick up that. And remember, not only are her prices great every day, if you use the discount code MOLLY10, M-O-L-L-Y-10, you get an extra 10% off. Hey, can't beat that. So take advantage. Okay, anyway, sprayed the cheesecloth with the gray so it made it look kind of spider dusty web. She carries seam binding in a lot of really pretty colors. And I have fallen in love with this green. It's the perfect color for fall leaves. It's a, you know just a beautiful color for harvest. It's the Halloween green. I just uh, have found that that green, um, a lot of times I dye my own. But um, this green I bought from her shop, I have just gone through miles of it. I love it. Okay, and of course the Baker's Trine came from her shop. The little flat back pearl came from her shop. And then here's the overall look of the tag. Can you see it? It's with the Graphic 45. Of course she carries as well the uh, Graphic 45 Steampunk Spells collection. Isn't that cute? Uh, oh, yeah. Now, here's the deal. I had to have, uh, couldn't have lived another day without them. Let me see if I can find them near me here. Uh, the Julie Nutting uh, tag from Prima. Oh, God, I'm going to myself out. So the base of the tag is this. Misty has these in her shop. I love them. They are wonderful uh, heavy-duty card weight. Um, thicker than, I don't know, can you, hear, can you hear how thick that is? So those Julie Nutting tags. She carries, and look how thick that stack of tags is. So I'm thinking I'm going to make a fall recipe book with them. Uh, sorry about that, hit my camera. But anyway, so the base of the tag is those Julie Nutting tags. Covered it with the um, papers from um, the Graphic 45 collection. And what I did here, kind of in a you know fall mood, um, the candy sprays were what we were featuring in this project. And then I just had them kind of vine around uh, the word time flies. And I wish my camera was focusing. But anyway, be like that. Uh, so, this is the tag. So, I used a lot of things from my stash, which are these like acrylic little plastic um, watch faces I'd gotten years ago. And then these um, clock hands are from, uh, I want to say Michaels. Uh, and then, of course, a lot of this paper and stuff is from the uh, Graphic 45 collection. These metal clocks that you see are from my stash. So, when you pull this tag out, now this is the tag in the paper and it just says, it's like the greeting card, um, greetings on Hollow's Eve. And then you've got a list of lucky spells you may want to share with them. And then here's the rest of the tag on this side. So I just cut up some of the paper, add some of the clocks, put a little few rhinestones on there. And I like how it turned out. So that's the front of the card. And I just that's the tag, the Julie Nutting tag just showing through. On the back of the tag, whoop, I lost something off here. Hold on just a second. We're going to just take it. Oh, I lost an owl was sitting there. Okay, we're going to take that thing off. Forget I told you an owl was sitting there, okay? Forget that. Anyway, um, here's the back of the tag. It's covered with the Graphic 45 paper. And as you can see, this is uh, that beautiful steampunk ladybug. There's her little black raven. You see the different papers. I just like how the clocks are showing out. They're clear, so it was a good look. This tree was cut out of chipboard. And it's actually the branch that comes with the cardinal and branch set from Sizzix. And I don't know if you can see here, but yeah, it's sprayed with uh, some of that gray. Um, well, I hope you can see. It's just chipboard, but I sprayed it with that gray, steely gray from the Lindy's collection. It is so pretty. Can you see how much it's sparkling? I might do it for you. 
and then I just kind of twined around some of the candy gems around the tree so it's a really good look and then this sticker is actually from the Happy, Happy Hauntings collection from last year from Graphic 45 but I liked a lot of the uh, stickers on there so I used that so that was the tag I made for one of the color inspiration um, or candy gem inspiration um, design team projects we did recently there's the tag along with the tag I just since the stuff was on my table I figured what the heck I just threw together a card real quick let's see if I you know I do this on the thing I can't figure out what direction of course the ribbon the raffia the baker's twine uh, the candy gem are all from Misty's shop as well as the paper line isn't that cute cards blank inside Whoop. these are black cards that I bought from uh, Michaels I love their quality of their cards the size and all made great many albums and all but anyway so um, there's the cute little Halloween projects that I made I hope you enjoy them please stop by um, Misty's shop and you will not be disappointed I don't believe with all the wonderful things she carries um, I have baskets full of um, items that I will be using in other projects um, just a fun place to shop she's got lots and lots of things things you wouldn't expect to find so y'all have fun this Halloween and I hope you like my tags and my card now last note we're going to be having this is um, Friday the 17th of October or 18th excuse me 18th of October on Sunday the 20th we're going to be having a blog hop start off at Misty Shop MB Treasuries.com go to the blog on it and then that will lead you through the uh, blog hop things I'm in there yay and all that stuff we're going to have, have of course some drawings for prizes and things so you won't want to miss it that's Sunday join the blog hop okay y'all have fun thanks for taking a minute and sharing bye bye bye